This segment covers some options to protect access to your data on mobile devices running Google's Android operating system. Android has quickly established itself as a leading OS for mobile devices like smartphones and tablets, and an alternative to Apple's iOS on the iPhone and iPad. Unlike Apple's iOS App Store, Android apps can be downloaded from a growing number of online marketplaces. So to avoid the threat of malware from apps disguised as reputable, you might want to download from Google's own Play Store, which makes some attempts to screen any apps submitted for sale or download from developers. It's also worthwhile considering an antivirus app for Android if you plan to use your device online frequently. Although Android devices are manufactured by a number of companies, the security features of the OS are broadly the same but do depend on the version of the Android OS running on your device. In this segment, we'll be using version 2.21 Froyo on a phone and the more recent 4.1 Jelly Bean on a tablet. A first and easy step to securing your device is locking the screen to prevent the physical device being used by anyone else. From the home screen, go into settings and scroll down and choose location and security. We want to set up a screen lock and on this model of phone have four available options. None, meaning the phone is unsecured and only requires a simple swipe to access. Pattern, which requires us to create a visual pattern with at least four dots. As with passwords, the more dots we include, the more complex and secure the pattern lock will be. Pin, lets us choose a personal identification number with at least four numbers. And password, allows us to create a secure password that includes characters, numbers and symbols from the on-screen keyboard. A useful privacy feature related to passwords and easy to set up is the shielding of password characters as you enter them. So for example, someone sitting next to you on a train can't read the password as you enter it. To do this, go into the location and security settings and disable visible passwords. Another easy privacy feature is to have the device screen automatically switch itself off when not being used after a relatively short period of time, as this will also lock the device and require our screen lock code to be entered in order to use it again. Go to display settings and choose the duration you prefer under screen timeout. Android also provides useful features for accessing wireless networks and connecting to other Bluetooth devices. As well as conserving battery power on your device, keeping Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals switched off until you need to use them can also provide a simple but effective layer of security. Using a recent version of Android on a tablet, we can set up and manage Wi-Fi networks by going into the main settings menu and activating Wi-Fi under wireless and networks. From here, we can see a list of any networks we have joined previously, other available secure networks indicated with a small padlock, and open or unsecured networks that should be avoided in most cases. If you'd like the choice of being notified when open networks become available, you can go to the advanced settings under Wi-Fi and select or deselect network notification. Bluetooth settings are also found under wireless and networks. When turned on, any visible Bluetooth devices will be listed and your own device will be visible to allow pairing for the time specified under the visibility timeout in the Bluetooth advanced setting menu. Under the same menu, you can see that you also have the option to change your device name that others see when attempting Bluetooth pairing. If privacy is important to you and you'd rather not have your current location information used by applications and Google services on Android, you can configure your preferences under location services in the main settings. Finally, if you intend carrying sensitive business data on your tablet, you have the option to encrypt the device. Data is then decrypted and made available only after entering a numeric PIN or password you specify. 